What's up, you guys? So today I have a pretty cool video for y'all. Not only a cool video for y'all, but also a cool video for me, seeing as this is the first time that I've had a Ross on my channel, outside of the one that I did the other day, but he wasn't in that video, so it doesn't count. In this video here, what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna be sharing with you guys five great fall and winter fragrances, and then Ross is gonna share with you guys five alternatives to those fragrances. But for those of you who don't know who Ross is or TLTG Reviews, I'll introduce him now, and then we'll get into it. First of all, Matt, I'd like to thank you for having me on the channel. Pretty excited to be on, on Georgia Gent with you talking about one of my favorite topics, and that's some more affordable fragrance alternatives to more popular, more expensive fragrances. And uh, let's get into some of them, shall we? So the first fragrance I have here is one of my all-time favorite winter or fall fragrances. Even though I've only owned it for a year, I can 100% vouch for this being a phenomenal, one of the best honey tobacco fragrances on the market. And that fragrance is, it's already off, Max Rose. With main accords of sweet vanilla and honey tobacco, the undertone of warm spicy citrus, and mixing some florals, you get the great fragrance that is Zerge off Max Rose. With citrus notes, cinnamon, vanilla, tonka bean, and honey. Zerge off Max Rose is a fragrance that you're gonna be paying for its quality. This is a very difficult fragrance to clone. So going out and, and trying to find a clone of this fragrance is not gonna be your best option. The best option for something like this is going to be a great alternative. Not something that's going to be trying to imitate it. And on that note, let's pass it to Ross. When it comes to Zerzhoff Naxos, that's a super gourmand tobacco fragrance. One of the best on the market. But if you're looking to save some money and get a similar scent profile and achieve the same vibe, same scent type, well, Happy Land Studio has a fantastic offering called Happy Land Signature. This is another beautiful gourmand tobacco fragrance. That is just, see that massive spray. Oh man, a home run in the scent category. And then it's a nuclear performer as well. It's above 12 hours longevity. It's extremely loud. You do not need many sprays. And it's much, much more affordable. Without discount code, a 50 milliliter like this is gonna run you around 50, $55. They do have 20% off discount codes that you can easily find all over the place online. And they have 30 mLs as well as sample kits available. Uh, this is definitely a great way to go. It's not a clone of anything in particular, but as far as trying to find a good alternative that's much, much more affordable than Zerjoff Noxos, it's difficult to beat Happy Land Signature. Is it, a, it is a fantastic replacement if you're trying to save some money and achieve pretty much the same type of scent. It's Happy Land Signature. The next fragrance I have here is gonna be one of the best, if not the best, fall designer fragrance. It has its performance. It has its, you know, qualities that make it like a holiday soft scent. And honestly, it's damn near being a niche fragrance. Near niche quality in terms of the scent. A niche quality, I mean high-end quality kind of scent. The next fragrance I want to share with you guys is going to be Spice Balm Extreme from Victor and Rolf. With notes like vanilla, tobacco, black pepper, caraway, and lavender, you'll get a fragrance that you love in terms of the scent. But not only will you love it, people that are going to be around you will love it. That is if you like spicy fragrances. If, if you are a fan of spicy fragrances, you probably won't enjoy this very much. For me, I'm still learning to get used to that spicy scent, but undoubtedly, this is one of the best, like crowd favorites, you know, general fragrance community kind of favorites fragrances. Again, y'all, that was Victor and Rolf, Spice Bomb Extreme. Spice Bomb Extreme from Victor and Rolf. That's definitely one of my favorite fragrances, for sure. It's really hard to compete with, and there's not a whole lot of fragrances that smell similar to it, but there's several that'll give a similar vibe, but one of the more affordable options that's surprisingly good, uh, it kind of adds a little bit more sweetness than what's already available in Spice Bomb Extreme from the vanilla by adding some cardamom instead of black pepper for the spice. It's from Cremo, and it's Spice and Black Vanilla. Yes, $22.99 will get you a 100 milliliter bottle. It's a very, very good fragrance. Oh man, that has a similar scent profile. It doesn't smell like a clone of it at all, but it's definitely the main alternative I recommend when somebody asks me about getting Spice Bomb Extreme on a budget, basically. That's how I view Spice and Black Vanilla from Cremo. It's much, much more affordable than getting a bottle of Spice Bomb Extreme, and it's gonna achieve a very similar effect for you. It's got a similar profile. It's not as powerful of a scent. Uh, I've heard people say they get, you know, four or five hours. I tend to get about eight to nine hours. This stuff is a powerhouse, and I've seen a lot of people say it's a powerhouse on their skin as well. So the performance you'll get is subject to change based on your skin chemistry, but for $23, it's pretty hard to beat, and I, I can't imagine finding a better alternative for Spice Bomb Extreme 
than Spice and Black Vanilla from Cremo. $23, it's definitely the way to go. Now next we're gonna go from the spicy end of, of you know of winter fragrances, fall fragrances, to something that's gonna be a bit sweeter, a bit more dense. That fragrance is gonna be Parfum de Marley Lake. With top notes of apple, lavender, mandarin orange, and bergamot, mid notes of geranium, violet, and jasmine, base notes of vanilla, cardamom, sandalwood, and pepper, patchouli, and guyacwood. Based off those notes, just know that this is gonna be a very sweet fragrance. It's very dense and rich in that scent too. Now for me, this is not the best fragrance coming off the opening. Parfum de Marley Lake is one of the best fragrances for Siash. The scent trail that this leaves behind is one of the best, if not the best in my collection. It will have people following me around, for sure. And again, the price kind of follows suit with the fragrance. It is not cheap. Again, you guys, that is Parfums de Marley Layton. Parfums de Marley Layton, that's some pretty big shoes to fill right there. Not an easy one to find an alternative for because it's a very warm vanilla that's got some supporting spice in the background. Beautiful fragrance, massive compliment getter. Uh, one that I would recommend that gives off a very similar vibe is a vanilla heavy, warm fragrance that's much, much more affordable than Layton. May surprise you, it's from Zaro. It's a Zaro Naughty Leather. That's right, of all things. I'm sure nobody saw this one coming uh, because it doesn't have the spices. It has a beautiful soft leather note that supports it instead of the spices, which still warms the fragrance up quite a bit. Uh, it doesn't smell exactly like Parfums de Marley Layton, as none of these fragrances that I'm suggesting smell exactly like, because they're not clones. This will achieve a similar vibe. Compliment factor is going to be pretty high. This is a very, very pleasant, very seductive type of smell, as long as you like sweet vanillas, which is what Parfums de Marley Layton is known to be. Like I said, it's a very warm vanilla. This is a very warm vanilla as well, and you can get a bottle of this for around $30. Much, much more affordable than getting Parfums de Marley. Is it going to be more synthetic? Of course it will. It's an Azaro fragrance designer versus a niche fragrance like Parfums de Marley. But for 30 bucks, it's pretty hard to beat, and one that not a lot of people talk about much. It gets a little bit of shine once in a while, but you'll probably be the only person around you wearing it and you'll achieve pretty much the same thing. And that's a Zaro Naughty Leather. Good alternative for Parfums de Marley Layton, in my opinion. So we have the honey tobacco, we have the spicy, we have the dense vanilla. One thing that's gonna be remaining is gonna be the boozy scent for fall. With that, I feel safe in recommending Pure Malt. This is gonna be if you enjoy boozy scents. Something that's boozy, long lasting, but you have to enjoy the Amen DNA. If you aren't familiar with Amen, I would pass on this. But if you are familiar with that DNA and you do enjoy it, this is one for you to grab. For example, if you are a fan of By Killian, Killian's favorite fragrance happens to be one of Terry Mugler's. So if you've tried By Killian and you enjoy that raspy kind of you know, boozy notes, you may enjoy something like this. With top notes of orange and bergamot, mid notes of malt, whiskey, patchouli, coffee, and cedar, base notes of peat, vanilla, amber, and musk. You get this very well known and sought after pure malt. Again guys, if you're a fan of boozy scents, I highly recommend this to you. Terry Mugler's Pure Malt, that's a fantastic fragrance. I have a bottle of that as well. And it's a very masculine, boozy fragrance. It's definitely great for the cold weather. Uh, that's one I would gear more towards the winter than the fall even for sure, because it just shines in the absolute cold. Another one that achieves that masculine, manly, boozy scent profile is gonna be Bentley for Men, the original. So not the intense here, the original, because the original, is a little bit boozier and spicier than it is smoky and leathery and woody. The intense is more raw, rugged, animalic, whereas this is more boozy and spicy. This is gonna give a much more similar scent profile to pure malt than the intense will. The intense is even more masculine and more raw than this. And this can be had for around $25 from just about everywhere that you can find it online. It's Kind of a hidden gem pretty much because I think I'm one of the few people on YouTube that ever talks about this fragrance because everybody really talks about the intense. And for me, for 25 bucks, this is a very good substitute for pure malt. Pure malt not being the most expensive fragrance out there, but this is about half the price of what you'll pay for pure malt at discounters and it's going to achieve a similar scent profile with similar performance. This is easily a seven to eight, even nine, 10 hour fragrance depending on your skin. I get about eight to nine hours and it projects pretty heavy. You'll smell yourself easily. If you're looking for a masculine boozy fragrance like Pure Malt, I might suggest, or I am suggesting, Bentley for Men, the original, not the intense. Now the next fragrance I have here, like I mentioned with Naxos, is almost unclonable. It's such high quality and comes from such a graceful brand. 
this is gonna be a boozy tobacco fragrance. But in reality, it's so much more than that. This is such a creation of art to put into a bottle. That fragrance, guys, is gonna be creation de Limoges Parfums. With top notes of bergamot, mid notes of heliotrope, jasmine, neroli, and rose de mai, and geranium. Base notes of cognac, vanilla, benzoin, tobacco, ambergris, ginger, cardamom, pepper, sandalwood, and patchouli, you get this wonderful, wonderful fragrance. This is one that just smells luxurious. It, it, it just smells like something that someone's gonna put on before they go to like fly a helicopter over Paris or something. Where it just takes my mind is like, if I'm like approaching someone and we're flying in a helicopter, flying over Paris or something, it's the evening, it's the night, it's the fall. This is what I imagine I would wear. This is luxury in a bottle. It has that niche quality effect that when I put it on, it takes my mind somewhere. And with that effect comes the price. This is why I have my friend Ross here. Again, guys, that is Creation E Parfum Cologne. And last but not least, a, a good alternative for Creation E Enigma from Raja Parfums. That's not the easiest one. That's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance, but it definitely fetches a pretty penny. One that I would suggest is actually a date night favorite for a lot of people. It's from Carolina Herrera, CH Men Privé. Now follow me on this one. Instead of cognac, you have whiskey. Still a sweet, boozy accord. You have some sweet tonka bean in there as well. You maintain the benzoin that's also in Creation E to give that vanillic, resinous, kind of uh, cherry coke, kind of coke float type of smell, but not so much in this one. The main thing that's missing from CH Men Privé versus Creation E is going to be that tobacco note, but this definitely has a similar vibe and similar scent profile for sure, where it has that, like I said, that sweet, very sweet, boozy, seductive type of quality. It's pretty loud without being too loud. It's a decent performer. It doesn't perform as well as Creation E, but it's a fraction of the price for a very similar vibe. This is a very popular fragrance for going out and for good reason, and it can achieve a similar type of aura for you that Creation E will provide. Is it on the same level as Creation E? No, of course not. But like I said, for a fraction of the cost, this is going to give you a similar scent profile, maintains a lot of the same main notes that give Creation E its character, is also present in CH Men Privé. And that's what I would suggest going with if you're looking for a good alternative, a much more affordable alternative to Raja Parfums Creation E. Well guys, that is that. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, go ahead and check down the description. Go ahead and go to Ross's channel and subscribe. You will not be disappointed. And again, Ross, thank you for doing this collaboration with me. I look forward to bringing you guys more content with Ross in the future. Guys, like I always say, keep it gent, and I'll see you all next time.